hello everyone and welcome back <laughs> to this video um yes my kind of like on a roll this week with the videos but you know i gotta do what i gotta do so yeah i'm going to shuffle my decks i already said my little prayer off camera So let me um, shuffle out these decks and let's get some fresh positive energy up in this reading. Whatever comes out, comes out. Okay, I'm going to use that deck here. This is the Wild and Unknown Tarot for this reading and the shoes zin deck yeah is this In the current energy, all right. Okay, now let us begin. Okay, um, what messages do you have for the collective for this reading? What messages do you have for the collective for this reading? Messages for the collective. Okay, so the first card out is the Son of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. Um, this could be an energy, this could be your energy or somebody else's. This could be someone that is coming towards you with an offer. Could be with an offer of love, um, maybe an apology of some sort. We have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups um, stands for the past. This could be like childhood. This could be a past life also. But this is somebody for some energy from the past. And we have the Justice. Maybe this person is coming to bring you justice. Maybe. Communication. Age of Wands, Daughter of Wands. And this is like, this, this looks like good communication coming in. Yeah, um, <laughs> three of ones. This could be you or somebody else. Um, could be a Libra. Somebody is like waiting on their ships to sail in. Are the are this person is like missing, missing someone? It could be a Aries, the Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, Mother of Wands feminine energy and you could be a male or female and carry the energy of the queen of wands or whatsoever queen or king that come out so just take it as it resonates okay right let's see what's going on what's going on mm -mm 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 -mm. we have the four of wands so the four of ones speaks about a connection or uh, um, this could be like a soulmate or a twin flame or this could be like a foundation of some sort. This could be like, like a connection that you have with someone. Let's see. Four 
Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. Um, something here is wish fulfillment for you. This could be for you or somebody else, or someone sees you as wish fulfillment, or we see someone as wish fulfillment. All right, six of wands, victory and success. All right. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles out. Now, this is the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles could be like a motherly figure. Also, this could be someone who is stable financially. Um, somebody who you can rely on. This is wife material. Yeah. Somebody who is basically stable, like. Yeah, they got their ship together. We have the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning in love. Oh, yeah. Um, someone, <laughs> alright, somebody from your past. Maybe this person might have done you wrong in the past, and they're like coming back to bring some sort of balance or justice towards you. This could be an apology. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Wheel of Fortune speaks about um, it's either you have fortune or misfortune on your side. Good karma, bad karma. Same thing with the Justice card. Mm. <laughs> and this could be um, this Queen of One that wants to reconcile, maybe. Let's see. What's going on? This is <laughs> most definitely past energy. Yeah. Somebody wants to come forward and offer something with the page of pentacles, daughter of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody wants to move things forward. With the chariot, the chariot is also cancer energy. So this could be a water sign also. Right, so right, 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 right. Yeah, but something here is hidden though. If you have the moon card, the moon card stands for things that are not seen, things that are hidden. Um, the moon card speaks about the unknown. It can speak about the spiritual realm and the unseen. Right, what is not being seen? The moon card is also like Pisces. And we are cancer. Yeah. I see. And we have the father of cups. So it could be um, a masculine energy water sign. Pisces, cancer, Scorpio. From the past. Six of Swords, somebody wants to move to Palmer Waters. With you, um, let's, um, let me use the other deck. I'll clarify this moon card. Let's say, I will clarify the moon card, what is not being seen? Clarify the moon card, what is not being seen? What is hidden right here? Clarify the moon card, please. We have no, no, no. <laughs> I will do one. Clarify the moon card. Ooh, Why? Clarify the moon card. Clarify the moon card. going everywhere
Okay. Come on. I could have was so. Make them care, do you know? Come on, if you have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles speaks about, um, could be someone who is holding on to something. This could be someone who has an attachment to something. You know, holding on to it for dear life of it. Yeah. What is this? Page of Wands. Some sort of communication. What is this? From a Queen of Swords. This person is actually the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, the Queen of Swords is also someone who is very smart. This person is very intellectual. This person, like, could be an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the star card means Aquarius energy here. Let's see what is not being seen. Why is this being up so it's here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's this person. It's like this person wants to come back and make amends. What's a mm -hmm. hermit? Alright, to a person that is a hermit. So the hermit card is also Virgo energy, right? So the hermit is somebody who is basically um in isolation by themselves doing introspection or like looking into things. Depends on the vibration of the person. This person could be like in hiding. Okay. Five of Wands reversed. The Five of Wands upright is like conflict, disagreements, arguments, fights. What's in the reverse? Um, let's see. Maybe somebody doesn't want to like fight, or somebody here doesn't like conflict, arguments. Somebody here doesn't like that shit. of cups this is family or uh, someone sees you as a ten of cups but I'm getting okay yep this person wants to move things to come water six of swords we have the emperor here father energy this is, could be a boss it's also an Aries Yes, male. All the male. The Emperor is also somebody who is very controlling. So yeah, watch that energy. Somebody who likes to take control. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -mm. Too too many right here. What else for the moon card? What else for the moon card? Four of Wands. This could be about a house too. Or this could be someone that you would like to live with. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can also stand for a re reunion, celebration, you know, party and shit like that. Some betrayal or somebody's heartbroken. Or oh, something right here. Why? Why? 
So the Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles flew out. Somebody from the past is broken about this Queen of Pentacles. Or this could be some this Queen of Pentacles from my past. This is for someone. <laughs> this is for someone. And this is what is not being seen. It's apparently somebody regretted regrets having a third party situation maybe and they want to reconcile Ooh. yeah this person wants a new beginning this is clear as day yep this is a lover oh my god lover's card someone wants a new beginning Right, so this is what's being hidden by the moon card, okay? Yeah, I got, I got that out of the mud. I got that out of the mud. So, yeah, let's continue on um, anything else for this reading. That is really sweet. Five of somebody's in regrets. Somebody is in regrets or they are sad. And again, this could be a lover. This could be a Gemini. Somebody who you like or this could be someone that you're having you had sex with or Yeah, some of you walked away eight of cups from this person. Some of you guys eight of cups this person. Okay. Uh 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 Alright, we have the death card. The death card stands for ending transformation. This is also Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Make it as it resonates. What else? Yep. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Energy or somebody have their guards all the way up. Sun card, this could be a Leo or an Emperor. Aries energy, right? So something is being exposed here with the Sun card. Yep, Ace of Swords. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Something is being illuminated here. Uh, somebody is worried about the truth coming out. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um. What is the sun card exposing? Uh, let me use the other deck. Right. What is the sun card exposing? What is the sun card exposing? Are illuminating. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants a new beginning. Ace of Cups. As I said before, this is in love. <laughs> somebody wants a new beginning. Yeah, somebody wants to heal things. The star card. Um, the Ace of Cups can also stand for like somebody who is emotional, somebody who is like crying to. So. We have the justice. What is the sun card illuminating? Mm-hmm. As I said, this person <laughs> keeps coming out. This person wants to move things to come out. 
like, oh my god. Someone is going through it. As somebody wants to move away or move. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, maybe somebody wants to invest in you now, or they're looking at something that they invested in. Yep, and they're worried. Or they're worrying about you or moving on, maybe from them. Nine of Swords energy. This person is possibly having like sleepless nights. This person can't get a good night's rest. I priest yep maybe because of some secrets um that they're keeping okay priestess my whole deck almost fell out my damn hand okay mm -hmm. king of pentacles in the building this is earth sign masculine energy capricorn taurus virgo um this king of pentacles this is a man this is a masculine energy i should say who is financially well off this is this could be like husband material somebody who is stable somebody who's nurturing care somebody who who you can rely on this is coming yeah as i said ace of pentacles <sighs> Apparently, yeah, there is an energy shift. Mm -hmm. But it's for the sun card. Uh huh. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, it's oh. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> This person uh, <laughs> um, um, still, like build generational wealth with you. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Judgment is being called on this situation. Maybe to close out a cycle or begin a new one. Well, somebody basically needs to move forward. What the for the sun card? What the? Mm-hmm. We have a tower moment. Happening. Or is going to happen. The tower card um, speaks about a sudden upheaval. Like a destruction of our own foundation. This could be good or bad. I don't think this tower moment is bad though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting that energy. Like, this is going to be like a good tower. This is going to be a good, yeah, honey. Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is destiny. I'm just here milking down. <laughs> yeah, so people come in together. Two people coming together, this is best game. Right? No. That's it for the sun card. So that's what the sun card is illuminating. I had to get that, you know, straight. So let's continue. I might not make this reading um, that long. I might make it short, but. Okay, anything else for this reading? Anything else for this reading? <sighs> Six of Pentacles, somebody wants to give to you now. I right, just equal give and take. Somebody wants to have that now. Yeah, the King of Pentacles again. This King of Pentacles is showing himself today, man. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is this? 
Five of Pentacles means being left out in the cold. Somebody no longer wants to be left out in the cold. And this person is in love. This is the father of cups. She's the king of cups. This person is in love. I have like emotions for someone. Like strong feelings. This oh, this person could be spying. This is the page of swords. This is the daughter of swords. Oh, this person wants to communicate which was swiftly but feather one is like some sort of chaos or drama is around this person this person really wants to be happy nine of pentacles all right hold on now this could be something surrounding honey now hold on What's going on right here? Because now I'm already nine of pentacles speaks about somebody who is like single and abundant, you know they have a lot of money, they are stable. Mm. Okay, this is a Empress. Sorry, sleep, but this could be like a mother energy. Or a baby mother or uh, this person is like having some like issues with their baby's mother or child's mother surrounding money okay maybe this person does not want um this person to move on because of the money yeah we have an emperor out here hold on because who is it? With the magician at the bottom of the deck. Right? When you see the emperor and the empress, right? This is normally the energy of the divine feminine or the divine masculine, or this could be a mother and a father. What's going on? With this emperor and the empress. What's going on with the emperor and the empress? What's going on with the Emperor and the Empress? What's going on with the Emperor and the Empress? Heartbreak, betrayal. What is this heartbreak and betrayal about? Hold up. Hmm. What is this heartbreak? I'm hearing separation. The moon card flipped out. The moon card speaks about secrets again. Cool. In the river, someone did not make a wise decision about something. Mm -hmm. 
now they are going to have this tower moment now this person is in the nine of swords energy of anxiety is sleepless nights because this person was not seeing things clear with the seven of cups this person has major endings man the ten of swords and the death card No new beginnings for whosoever. This King of Cups or whosoever this is. Or whosoever this mother and father energy is. Whosoever. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I go too deep into that. This is none of my answer. <laughs> Yeah, we have the devil card out here. This situation about this nine of pentacles entering into this is toxic. We have the red card here. It's a toxic cycle. You see a mother or feminine energy. Anybody, this could, anybody, this could be, it could be a mother figure also. Anything else? I was right, this is a toxic cycle with the mother, which is petty. Bullshit and I have this truth. The ace of story means truth and clarity. The ace of story means truth and clarity. Anything else? Anything else? This cycle is coming. If Mm-hmm. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can stand for someone who is drunk enough for a situation that is Yes, I know this was going to fucking come out. Yes. Shit is going to be balanced out and this shit, this fetish bullshit, this foolishness, this immaturity is coming to a fucking end. I'm gonna tell you. Certain shit do not last for long, you know. This cycle is coming to an end. It's not going to be a nice end neither. Yeah, no longer delayed. This shit got to end now. No longer. Shall this petty bullshit, this fucked up shit, go on here? There shall be a new beginning. Like, some of y'all, y'all just going to like spiral off into a new beginner into the unknown yeah you're gonna break away yeah i was listening to that song earlier i'll spend my wings and i'll learn how to fly i'll do what it takes till i touch the sky make a wish take a chance and make a change and break away hey. out of the darkness and into the sun but i won't forget all the ones that i love hey. mm -hmm. yeah manifest a new beginning yeah manifest yourself out of this shit there's good news the good news coming for you soon. Out of the darkness and into the sun, I won't forget all the ones that I love. Make a wish, take a chance, make a change, and break one. 
This Lisa Jenna has been mean. The star card manifest your new beginnings. Anything else? I don't want to tell you this. Mm-hmm. Your new beginning is manifesting. Just keep going. You got this. Um I'm gonna end this reading right here. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hear me what I said? Out of the darkness the moon into the sun yeah <laughs> bye